Welcome to episode 44 of Talking Jets. I'm Mike from Hulk Car Shirts and today I'm going to take a look at this 1985 Premiership Final Shirt. Now before we get started, I just need to express some thanks and that's to Jason Fisher for loaning me this shirt for a little project on something that I've been working on. Now you'll see more of that in due course, but for the moment, Jason, thank you very much for loaning me it and also thank you very much for letting me use this shirt for an episode of Talking Shirts. So yeah, now it's quite a big gap in my collection, the 1983-1985 the season. I don't have anything that that resembles that era in an in, in original form. I do have a retro replica, but for me that's it's not anywhere near a, a, as the same as having a, an original replica or, or even a match worn shirt like this one is from, from 83 to 85. So I must admit, you know, I do, I do really, really want stroke need one of those within my collection. But until that day comes, Jason very kindly loaned me this one for the project that I was working on, and also to do, as I said, an episode of Talking Shirts. Now, the look is probably one of the most iconic looks for for Hulk AR, the, the red shirt with the blue band. Obviously, we are synonymous with the white shirt and the red band as well, and those are the two designs that we've probably used the most in our history. And we usually revert back to something very similar to this for our anniversary seasons. So it'll be interesting to see what the 2022 home shirt looks like when that one comes out as we celebrate our 140th anniversary next year. So back to this one. So as I've said, we've got a red shirt with a blue band. We've got it made by and manufactured by, <coughs> by Adidas. Obviously, we've got the Hulk Kingston Rovers badge up here. We have got some special embroidery underneath for the Premiership final with 1985. And then we've got Savoy Tyres, which again is another famous sponsor who are local to Hull. Down the side, we have got the three stripes. Obviously, Adidas, the brand with the uh, with the three stripes. So we have got the, the three stripes in white. We have got the blue breaking those up. And obviously, we've got the red of the fabric there to kind of break it all and, uh, and join it in very nicely. Now, one thing that's quite interesting about shirts from this era is that we've got a three-quarter length sleeve. So it's not quite a long sleeve, not quite a short sleeve. It's kind of in that in that middle region. Um, the material that they're made from as well, it's a really, really thick cotton material. They are really, really heavy, these shirts. Um, especially nowadays, obviously, they've got them made from, from polyester. So it's a much lighter material to wear. But if you was wearing this and it rained, you would get absolutely soaked. But it would hold the water as well, so it would be really, really heavy weighted. <clears throat> We've got some reinforced stitching on the neckline here. These shirts are quite famous for ripping. Back in the day, this shirt was just worn in the one game without having the Premiership final embroidery on there. So the condition of this one's really, really good. Um, Jason has actually loaned me another shirt from this era. Uh, that, that was worn during the seasons. So it's really interesting to see the difference in the quality. Um, I will do another episode on that one. But I will do that in a few, um, a few weeks' time just to sort of break gap up between between the two shirts <clears throat> when we look at this this shirt it's probably the one that is most recognizable for our our major successes in the 80s obviously we had the cup final in 1980 where we wore a white shirt with a red band but we had the premiership double in 83 84 and then in 84 85 we finished top of the league again but we did come up short in the Premiership final. So it was, you know, the biggest successes, um, in, in probably the most recent anyway. Um, obviously, we have had some silverware between now and then, but these are probably the the pinnacle, if you like, of, of winning the league um, and making it to the Premiership final, which obviously now we know is the, the Super League Grand Final, which is something that we came very close to in, in 2021. So, you know, never say never. We've got our fingers crossed for some silverware and some success for Hulkingston Rovers in the future. So I'm going to swing this one around to the back for you. And you can see that on here we have a number 12. So in this Premiership final game in 1985, number 12 was worn by Phil Hogan. Phil Hogan played for Rovers from 1978 through to 1988. So he had a 10-year spell with the Robins. He made 254 appearances in that time and he scored 316 points. Now, the reason why I've said he scored 316 points rather than telling you where his points came from is because he scored all sorts of different points for Rovers. 
He scored drop goals, he scored conversions, he scored three point tries, and he also scored four point tries. So it kind of mixes up um, his records because some of his tries were three pointers, some were four pointers, because during that era was when they changed from three point tries to four point tries. You can see here that it's had a patch stitched on. So we've got a white patch that has been stitched onto the shirt, and then the number, the one and the two, has also then been stitched onto that patch. So this was long before there was uh, heat applied patches applied to the back of the shirts. These were done, like I've said, they've been stitched on, very rigorously done as well. You know, there's a lot of a lot of detail and a lot of depth that's gone into the stitching of getting that onto the back of the shirt. <clears throat> Just one of these intricate details that we've kind of lost a little bit in in modern day shirts and. Like I've said, that there's a lot of people that will question the quality of a modern day shirt. Now, I don't so much have a problem with the polyester look and the feel, but it's very, very hard to argue that these were much better made back in the day. Very, very, very different. And as I've said, this was worn in, in the Premiership Final of 85. This was a game that Rovers came up short in. Uh, it was on May the 11th, and we played St. Helens at Ellen Road, the, the home ground of Leeds United. We lost 36-16 on that day, and as I've said, Phil started in the second row, wearing number 12. So flinging it back round to the front, there's just one, one more little point that I'd like to make, that, and I find it really interesting about this era, and it's something that I need to know a little bit more on, so I'll be able to tell you what I know, but I don't know everything about it. But in the 1980s, and probably even a little bit earlier as well, maybe even into the 70s, Adidas had their branding on shirts such as this. But I'm going to put a picture up now and you'll see that the label inside this shirt is Umbro. Now, in the 70s and 80s, Umbro used to manufacture Adidas's rugby shirts, football shirts, because at this point, they didn't have factories in the UK to be able to produce these for the clubs. So they used to sort of use Umbro um, and obviously Umbro would get a cut of the of the of the fees that Adidas was bringing in um, to, to manufacture their garments in their Umbro factories. Now this is something that's really interesting because uh, there is an advert as well, which I'll, I'll pop a picture up that somebody sent me um, of, of Adidas where it says Umbro on there as well. So again, there's obviously been some sort of connection there between between Adidas and Umbro. This was probably before Adidas got big enough, shall we say, especially over in the UK. To be able to then manufacture their own their own gear over here, and obviously now Adidas is probably one of, if not the biggest sportswear brands in the UK. Nice little interesting quirk there. Love a good shirt story. So that's everything for episode forty four of Talking Shirts. Hope you've enjoyed having a look at Jason's shirt here. Uh, again, Jason, thank you so much for for loaning me it. Much appreciated. Um, if you get a spare moment, if you would like to head over to hullkrshirts.co.uk, there's all sorts of different shirt related content going on over there. I've finished my 2021 shirt kit tracker, so you can now see what shirts we wore in which game. Uh, it also tells you how many games we won in each shirt, how many we lost, etc. So there's a nice little record going on over there. Also talks about the different types of um, modifications that we made on each shirt for each game. We had some uh, sponsorship. Uh, changeover from uh, iconic to just having a Super League patch and then on the away shirt we actually went with a blank sleeve so there's some really little little details on over there for you to have a have a guess dry over if you want to get that kick geek inside you tingle in a little bit um, also it'd be brilliant if you could subscribe to the YouTube channel you'll then be able to click the little bell logo and you'll be able to get a notification as and when I upload a new episode which is every fortnight so yeah thank you very much for watching today Check back in another couple of weeks and I'll be back with episode 35. Bye for now.